In May of 2023, four ex-rugby league heroes were tasked by fast food juggernaut McDonald's to head on a road trip for a cross-country photo shoot for social media. The mission was successful, with equipment limited to just three phones and one GoPro. However, one lone producer tasked to oversee the journey personally hired a camera crew to shoot the moments in between. These are the moments in between. Hey, uh, Beaver, it's the, uh, it's the producer here. Um, we spoke on the phone a couple of weeks ago about that, uh, McDonald's thing, getting on the road to Magic Round, all that stuff. Um, it's happening. So, uh, so if you want to come down, um, 6 a.m. North Ride McDonald's. We're leaving on the 4th of May. Uh, you know, no obligation to actually be there, but there's going to be four guys. You're one of them. Don't really know who the rest are going to be just yet, but uh, hey man, it's a free ride up to Magic Round, so um, all we got to do is take some photos. That's it. Just take some photos at each place we stop off at. Uh, no video. I mean, I have a camera crew coming. They're just going to record some stuff. You know, uh, probably won't get used, but. You know, uh, should be good, man. Uh, I might see you then. Trying to hate. Hey. Have you seen the bus? I think it's just there. Magic bus. Oh, oh, this okay. this oh my gosh, there's lights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's disco lights. Disco balls. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> disco, disco, disco. Yeah. Make the sleep here, mate. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, get comfy. Where are we going to? Does anyone know where we're going? Um, no. G'day boys, welcome to the Macca's Magic Bus. Guess who? It's your tour guide, Buzz Rothfield. That is the We're bus. now departing Sydney en route to the iconic Lang Park for Magic Round. Driving time will be approximately 10 hours, but we've got a slight tailwind. We might even get that down to 9.55. So sit back and relax. Time to hit the road. Bon voyage. Ew. Bon voyage. Isn't that friend? Disco balls, yep. um, streamers. Yeah, streamers. I think the the faces on the side really make the bus as well. You don't seem so happy. Why aren't you smiling? We're all smiling on those faces. Because it's origin. It's an origin uh, picture of me, oh. and I'm always angry. It's very very nicely themed. Um, I can see that as we get more comfortable in the uh, surrounds, um, we'll make more use of the disco ball, and we actually got a hopefully a pole. We got a pole coming. Potentially, it's in the works. Let's <laughs> see what Buzz can organise. 
You boys were all pretty tough Origin players, but I want to know, seriously, who was the toughest opponent you played at Origin level? My one's, my one's easy, because I had to mark up on him all the time. It was GI. No, fair point. Gordy Tallis. Gordon gets those crazy eyes going. It's not much fun to be in front of. I don't really want to say this, but Gal. Probably Gal. Just tough. Just tough as nails. Walker Roach, Ian Roberts, David Gillespie, Paul Sirenen, Bradley Clive. I thought, uh, <laughs> that's pretty tough. Tell me how long since you've eaten a Macca's apple pie. Ooh, it's been a minute. Been a while. What? No, I had one four weeks ago before that, I reckon. Five years. Ooh, that's ten years, maybe? Ten years. I've never had one. What? What? Yeah. Are you kidding? Never had one. Stop the buzz, Stop. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> You're joking? You've never had one? You've no, never I've had never had one, one no. You've never had a McDonald's apple pie? No, I've never had one. No better time than morning tea, apple pie. Well, we might have to try it out, eh? All right. Give it a try. Basso, can you pull over to the next McDonald's? have arrived. Oh. I think for your first apple pie, it's only fitting that we're doing it on this magic bus, on this magic trip mm. up to Magic Round. Um, Make it as magical as possible? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, we got cookies as well? Yeah, I got cookies. Oh, stop I it. <laughs> I haven't had cookies in forever. What you want to do is you want to open the sleeve, yep, and just, you really want to slide it out. Oh. Slide it up like that, really. Slide go. it on out, yeah. Oh, Are we just going to... I think you just go for it, son. Just, and you have to have some ice cream with it. Did you eat ice cream with it? No. Yeah, that's what we want. There it is. Yes, brother. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, boys. No. Wow. Yeah, what's okay. that? Best trip ever. <laughs> I like it better with the ice cream yeah. on it. Boys, you've been so well behaved that I thought it was time for Uncle Buzz to give you a little treat. Time for some fun and games at the best theme park around, the Big Buzz Fun Park. I quite like that name. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. Get out of town. But I'm buzzing. What are we going to do there, Buzz? <laughs> Big Grandpa gr Buzz. Billy, will you stop being a pest, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what this place is. <laughs> Billy, how are you? Matthew. Yeah, Billy, how are you? Joseph. Hi. Hey, mate, how are you going? Who's doing, doing the safety Joseph. instruction? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're doing the... <laughs> He's the safety bloke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, main event time. Let's go. Rope me up, sir. Woo hoo hoo hoo! For the good guys. Damn you! Oh, disc golf. I love. You used to You're go around right disc golf. No, I used to play. I used to play as a junior. I was like New South Wales, New South Wales team. Under was that How under, many kids under 12. Disc golf? Under 12. There was probably 14 of us. What was your friends' names? Bob. <laughs> he, was, he was the captain. 
Uh, yeah, do you want to actually bet yourself? Oh, look at the goal. How did they start? That's close. Oh. oh. Come on, Beaver. Oh, what the Yuck. frig is supposed to turn? Yes. Yeah, get it in. No. Oh. Don't miss. Oh. Oh, Beaver. He's the left. Trouble. Come left. Beaver. Oh, oh shot. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Bill. Bill. Oh! <laughs> that means we're one stroke ahead if we... This is it, this is this it. Is. We're one stroke ahead. That's how you do it. That's how you debate. Come on! <laughs> oh! Oh, you're in the way by the ball! <laughs> that scared the shh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, look out! Oh, that was... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Who had the big burger today for lunch? Yes. What's at the bottom of the slide now? <laughs> Who went down forwards? He Who started. You did. Who went down behind no, me? No, I went <laughs> forwards oh, first. Oh, I went forwards oh, first. Why did you hurt? I gave you a good push, though. Yeah, mate. <laughs> That'll be enough, eh? Thanks, Buzz. Get back on the bus. G'day boys, thought we might drop by the Big Axe. And no, I don't mean Trevor Gilmeister's place. I'm talking about a giant axe. Literally, just a giant axe. Well, giant axe, Trevor Gilmeister, that sounds pretty good to me. But let's go look at the Big Axe, boys. Big Axe, 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 There it is, boys! Looks sharp. Does it do anything? I think it's doing it. IQ. This is brilliant. It's, it's okay, I guess. Coffs Harbour, fellas. A few good games of City Country went down up here, but tonight will be a good place to hit the hay. Sweet dreams, boys. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. I need a bit of a kip, I think. Get Maybe a couple a... of Sundays. Chocolate. Oh, chocky Sunday. Chocky Sunday. Yeah. yeah. No better. Yeah. Watch down with Actually, you did play City uh, Country here. Did you win? Can't remember. <laughs> Good night, boys. Good night. Yeah, good night, lads. Oh, what's with all the... What, you... Macca's PJs. Are you going to get the memo? 
<laughs> so I didn't get the email. Steve, uh, <laughs> mate, on, man. they're in our room. We're supposed to wear them today. What? Yes. Oh. Here. Always got to save you. Let's go. Good morning, boys. I bet you're glad to hear my voice again. I trust you're all recharged. We'll have you in Bris Vegas before you know it. Question time, boys. Where were you when you found out you'd made Origin for the first time? And what can you tell us about it? Uh, you remember? <coughs> yeah. You remember? Yeah, there's no phones back then. Um, <laughs> Did you get an envelope in the mail? Yeah, it was a pigeon <laughs> card. No, I think I was just at home and... Just got a, I think I got a phone call just from the manager or something. Yeah. Say, You're in. Yep. Just at home with mum and dad. Pretty pumped. I was at North Leaks and my mum had come down and she got the, the landline call that had been picked. And I opened up the door and she just ran. She just jumped. I remember just catching up. What are you doing? She goes, you just got picked in origin. So, where is, remember what it was yesterday. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Um, yeah, mine was a, a little bit different. Um, I was called in as 18th man, so I, you know, I was kind of taking the week, enjoying it. it was, Pretty easy, but then uh, on the Sunday I went. I went back to club footy on the Friday, and then on the Sunday Craig we went down with an injury, so I got called back in. So I ended up coming off the bench in my first Origin. So on the uh, on the Sunday it was a, a mad dash calling the family and letting them know, and I ended up coming to to Sydney to watch the first game. And it, it was the only time in my whole career that I started off the bench. And, it was kind of weird, like, when they said, you're up, you're on. I was like, oh, no, what's what's, what's going to happen? I was so nervous. It's probably the most nervous I'd ever been because I'd never come off the bench before, so. Yeah, mine, I found out a bit differently as well. I'd, I'd had a big, big, big night with Benny Hunt, um, and I was currently sleeping on his floor in his lounge room, um, and I had a few missed calls from a number I didn't know what it, who it was, uh, and then they called again, and I'm thinking, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> so I've picked it up and it's it's Mal and he's uh and he's just gone, yeah, you are playing Origin and I was like, oh wow. And I've gone in to tell tell Ben and he's just snoring so I just let him be and yeah, just called called my family. It's a pretty pretty weird moment because I'm so my body was struggling <laughs> but I was so happy. <laughs> Beautiful. Stranger, I saw you staring like I was the moon. You should know my heart's been beaten and his cage locks loose. And I've been told by friends that you could heal my bruises tonight. But tonight, so I dig up old photos and handmade postcards to indulge in sadness. My nostalgic heart it demands that I hold tightly to her memory. So tonight, tonight. I speak of alkaline. I speak of alkaline. Guys, Origin has given us some incredible action over the years. What was the biggest moment you're on the field for? Biggest moment on the field? A couple of field goals, winning in a field goal is always pretty special. Scoring a try is probably. Who dropped the field goal? Timo, mine's probably scoring on debut. I mean, you don't get many tries in Origin, but I was lucky enough to score on my debut. So I think for me, it's pretty special. Game one, 2014. So that was when we were coming off back of eight series losses. It was the hundredth game in Origin. Uh, they'd retired Artie's jersey because it was. He just passed away the, the yeah. year before, so we knew it was going to be a, a big game, but we knew that if we could win that game, it'd go a long way to us winning the this, this series because we, we had our second game in Sydney. So basically, th throughout the whole preparation of Origin 1, it was do whatever it takes just to, to get this win. If we're going to quote games you weren't on the field for, I remember I was commentating when Alfie had to come back. back yeah. And I was, I remember commentating, and it almost had a tear in my eye. It was the energy was at the, the old QB2 stadium. 
Mate, the crowd went berserk. So well, 100, 100 years old and carved us up. Yeah. My worst moment. <laughs> Mate, just great players. Yeah. Can just lift and go to that next level. Yeah, that was like one of those great moments. You always, always remember it clear as day. Well, boys, we're in the deep north now. Time to turn on, tune in, and drop down to Byron Bay for a bit of spiritual healing. Might have a little excursion to help you guys unwind. Peace and love, my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mars. Oh, Peace what have we love. got? Finding a place in there, just sitting down on a mat. the bolsters if you like to sit up so you're more comfortable so just roll them back a bit and <clears throat> just finding a comfortable position you don't have to have your legs crossed if it's uncomfortable if you want to just have them straight whatever works for your body each time you exhale just releasing a little gentle sigh just reminding yourself that you can let go and really arrive in this space so deep breath in Let's just take a little giggle. <laughs> <laughs> just being present with uh, what's there, all the sounds uh, that we're being offered in this moment, all the bodily functions that are there in this that moment. That wasn't me. It <laughs> was not me. Place the blanket over your body, the eye pillow over your eyes, so there's a black eye pillow you can place over you. Feet about hip width apart. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much for having us. Um, I feel very relaxed. 
Yeah, and I just had a really beautiful time, so thank you. Well, firstly, thank you for <coughs> opening up um, your home and having us and, and teaching us what you do. Mm. It was unique, so it's, mm. thank you for the experience. It was um, yeah, something I've never experienced, so thank you. Mm. That is what life's about, experiences. Mm. Mm. So I enjoyed that and I'll remember and I'll tell people about it, so thank you. <laughs> Life can be a bit chaotic, so yeah, that was, that was very enjoyable, just being at peace with myself. Mm. So thank you. Thank you. I grew up watching all of you play <laughs> and such deep respect to the incredible work that you do. I know this sounds weird, my testicles were getting all tingly. <laughs> <laughs> I no, don't I'm think serious. that's weird at all. Well, you know, when energy moves through our body, it goes to the places. <laughs> I'm not even lying here. I was like, is this supposed to be happening? <laughs> <laughs> Affecting my zen, Buzz. Uh, I was relaxed every time. Hope you're all awake, boys. Time for a controversial question now. What was the toughest era of origin? Oh. The toughest era of origin. Mm. Well, if we're talking playing footy, footy wise, yeah. probably now. Now, athletically, yeah. to me, it's tougher. There's big, there's just, there's no dude. They're big boys. They're big boys now. Yeah. Everyone's powerful. Everyone's a hybrid. I, I would say the 80s. Yeah. I would say the 80s. People say to me the game's got softer. It hasn't it. Yeah, now, it's harder now. Fatigue to... makes cowards of us all. Yeah. Mate, when you're playing as fast as you guys would play, or you just finished playing, yeah. mate, there, there, there's no lack of courage there. Yeah. Is there really an answer to it then? <laughs> Maybe just origin More is. Debate. Maybe origin just is. The toughest. If I said what era that you're glad you didn't play in, yeah. I'm quite happy I didn't play in the 80s. Yeah, 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 me too. If you, yeah. if you phrase it that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now leave us alone, Buzz. <laughs> this is your home, the place you know and love the very most. But this is your life, and it's okay to wonder what's outside. No, I don't worry about that. Oh. I just hope you're coming back. This one is going to be a winner. Raspberry, Raspberry and custard. Mm. It's outstanding. Not bad, eh? Can't be better, surely. Well, yeah. I hope better. Better? Boom. Yeah. Be cool. It's outstanding. Boys, what a ride it's been. Yeah, your Queensland boats aren't too bad. It's been all right. I actually say, I might actually miss you, Blokes. Well, I will miss you, Joel, but... Well, I'll see you all the time. Yeah, we do actually catch yeah, up. Yeah, I'll catch up a little bit. But you guys... Well, yeah. yeah. So, Key, what are you going to do at the game? You, you doing anything? I'm working all weekend. Are you? Right. I'm on radio. Yeah, I'm going to work too. Actually, uh, I'm doing radio too. What are you doing? I'm going to the footy, boys. Just living the dream. <laughs> I'm just living the dream. Hey. Hey. Cheers. Ching, ching. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Count the pies. Up. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Come on, boys. Next stop, Magic Round. I can't wait, mate. It's going to be a ripper. Actually, we need to get there. OK, right? Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Easier. Easier. Well, guys, the high-risers tell me that our journey's come to an end. Not to get too sentimental, but after a 1,000 kilometres together, I feel a lot closer to you guys. <laughs> you know what, boys? We should start a group chat. I'll send you an invite. <laughs> Enjoy Magic Round, boys. It's Buzz, over and out. Yeah, guys, you buzz. Well, I won't be, won't be starting out yeah, with me. Very, very special, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Almost as special as this event. Yeah, what an event's going to be. Magic round. Let's go. Magic round. Magic round. Magic round. Magic round. Magic round. Magic round. Magic round.
Bye bye now. Hey mate, it's uh, it's the producer again here. Just wanted to say thanks for coming on the trip. It was uh, it was pretty awesome. Everybody had a really good time. So uh, maybe next year we get to do it all again. I mean, why not, right? Uh, anyway, mate, uh, take it easy. I'll uh, see you down the road. Bye bye. <laughs>